this is Cassie with Complete Speech. Now that you know more about the SmartPot system and how to use it in speech therapy, we're going to take a look at the basic visual characteristics of what key phonemes look like on the SmartPot software. Let's start with a brief introduction to the S phoneme. We'll begin by looking at the gold standard feature. This is an activity that compares your production of a sound to a target and gives it a percentage score based on how closely you've matched that target. It's another form of immediate feedback. The score can be very motivating. You can use it as a fun competition, maybe between two clients or the client and yourself, or even the client to beat their own score. You can use these scores as a form of quantitative feedback. Write them in your notes and use them to track improvement over time. Let's look at how to use it. I'll put in my SmartPod. First, you want to pull up the target in question. We'll use the default S. Select how long you want the activity to last, and press play. Make sure to hold the sound the entirety of the time. Since I chose only two seconds, a short amount of time, the aim is to hold the sound the entire time. You can also select continuous and use the score as a form of feedback throughout the whole session. Press play and it will constantly give you a score. Do be careful to watch for overshooting, as the program scores higher for overshooting than undershooting. I'll go ahead and stop the continuous feedback for now. You'll notice I'm using the default S target. We can see here the key features of the S phoneme. At the front of the palette, you want to aim for two to three columns of air to allow for that stream of air or frication. Any more than three columns will be too much. No columns of air will block the sound and you won't be able to achieve the S sound. The number of columns seen in the back doesn't matter quite as much, but you do want to make sure that the tongue is touching along the lateral edges of the palate and that there are no breaks in the contact. Keep in mind, S and Z will look the same. So if your client is struggling with voicing, you can use the same target for placement and teach voicing in the way that you normally would. It's important to remember that everyone's productions will look slightly different. The default targets are just templates for a typical production of each sound. Creating custom targets, as we discussed in a previous video, is a great way to practice correct productions that are personalized for each of your clients. My custom S looks more like this. I'm off to one side and that's okay. I still get a good production of S. I have two columns of air going through and full contact of the lateral edges of my tongue along the teeth. Thanks for watching and look for more clippets about how to incorporate the Smart Palette into your speech therapy.